Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is a bonus love reading for Taurus. Hope you're all well. Hope you're all taking care of yourselves. Welcome back all my subscribers and a big welcome to all the new viewers. How is everybody? This reading is bonus love energy focusing on new love. All right, this cannot resonate with everybody, of course, so I'm just the messenger, okay? New love energy for Taurus. Who's coming towards Taurus for new love? Who is reaching out to Taurus? Who is Taurus reaching out to? New love connections for Taurus. What can they expect? Who is coming towards Taurus? What does Taurus need to know? New love energy for Taurus. Here we go. Ooh. Justice. Communication. That texting again, taking a leap of faith. You could have a Libra or an Aries coming towards you that sees you as just right. Somebody is coming in. You're going to get some justice here. I feel like you have a new beginning. Someone's ready to take a leap of faith. They see you as just right. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yes. Oh, yes. We have a Capricorn, Libra, Aries energy. Somebody is a little obsessed with you, okay? very much so taking that leap of faith it's like that I, I i think this is a risk like it's this like let's go now it's go time okay oh yeah devil may care someone just doesn't care now they just want to go for it okay that's what i feel it's like they see you as the right person they make they're making this decision to communicate yep there you are taurus look at that this person could be a capricorn okay they might be thinking a lot about you obsessed in fact they see you as everything they want they're going to communicate they're going to tell you this they see you as this right this person is uh wow justice just right doing the right thing somebody could be coming in to do the right thing could be an ex have to say it all right yes we have the chariot and we have yeah reconciliation for some trust your intuition here okay uh, pisces energy as well cancer energy there's some more libra energy this person could be a libra with capricorn in their chart doesn't have to be they could be very obsessed with you they see you as that person uh, there's a level of comfort but this is where you come in taurus you need to take you're going to sit back and you're going to be practical and you're going to be realistic you're going to look into the future all right and i think you're going to go for this this is going to move forward very quickly uh, it could be a reconciliation or it's some kind of an awakening you could get a call to uh, literally a phone call okay someone's tooting their horn they might have a little bit of an ego so trust your intuition trust your higher self this person yeah there's somebody's thinking about communicating some of you may have several people yeah, look at that. Some of you have got several people here, and I feel as though you're, uh, <laughs> this could be you thinking about it too, thinking about whether you see this person in your future. You're going to trust your intuition. Some of you are going to get tarot card readings, all right? Um, wow. Yeah, some of you, it is a reconciliation, and you're not so sure. So you're going to trust your gut here and take some time to think to see if you see this person on in your future. Some of you have been holding on to this person, okay? Some of you get attention from other people. You actually could have a couple people coming towards you, okay? Somebody is thinking, wondering if you get attention from other people, if there's anybody else around. I think this is also the seer. This is, a, uh, to me, very similar to the hermit at times where somebody does some soul searching. They search deep within themselves for the answers. So this could be you and it could be this person wondering if you see a, f a future. And I, I kind of think it's them. They could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn as well. Very much Capricorn energy Taurus, okay? And I did see Taurus in the Capricorn reading, come to think of it. So, yeah, with a very similar story, so... Get yourselves ready. Uh, somebody is reaching out here. They're going to reach out to you. They want to do things the right way. All right. Justice balanced. Yeah, this is somebody who wants to be generous. They want to reciprocate equally. Ooh, communication coming in. I'm seeing this in just about all the readings. So I think all this lockdown is getting people out on the Internet. 
I do. I said that in the beginning. I had kind of a little premonition that this isn't going to be all bad. And it actually, to be honest, because I'm seeing a lot of this slow moving energy, you're going to be forced to take things slow. You're going to be forced to chit chat and talk to people. Yeah, there is the risk that they're going to be talking to other people. But if they really like you, they will continue to talk to you. Like you have to remember that. So it's all about representing yourself in the right way here too, okay? But yeah, I mean, it all depends where you live. It all depends. So we have the Eight of Wands. What is this communication with the Eight of Wands? Someone's coming in quick. They're just going for it. They've made up their mind that they see you as the person that they want to. So you may already know them. You may have already had some kind of connection. And they're finally deciding that they see you the way they want to. Or they see you as the right person. Uh, very balanced. This is a decision to... Tell me about the, there we go. Yeah. So yeah, this person's coming in. They're taking action. All right. So this is going to be, oh, they might be a little bit flirty. They could be in Aries as well with Capricorn in their chart. Uh, maybe with Libra too. So take it however it resonates for your person. I'm going to try to stick mostly to the energy here. Tell me about this fool. This new beginning. Oof. Tell me about this new beginning. Taurus, you may work a lot too, okay? You may work, be working from home or you may be concentrating on your work a lot right now, feeling you need to keep that in control too. So you may have to make a decision and trust your gut if you see a future with this person, at least at this point, okay? So yeah, you're going to be practical and realistic about this. Uh, I think you're doing well. You just want to make sure that you everything is just right and you feel this person uh, balances you out too. Tell me about the, you want someone who comes to you right that reciprocates. You want someone who takes action and communicates and, and keeps doing that, right? You want a risk taker. That's what you want. Yeah, you want someone to be obsessed with you. <laughs> you could. Some, some of you do. All right, the fool. Why is the fool here? Why is the fool here for Taurus? If I said Capricorn, sorry, it's because I keep looking at these two. Taurus. Yeah, you got a Taurus around you, some of Yeah, so there's something changing. Somebody's coming back around or somebody's taking a risk. Some of you, though, you want to be careful. You feel a bit conflicted, maybe, if this person comes towards you. You want to make sure, right, that they're coming towards you just right. So there could be a little bit of conflict. So you may be a little bit careful about taking a risk once the world is here. It's letting things revolve naturally. But some of you are taking a risk here. Uh, you're ready for change. It's time for something new. You're going for it. There's that chariot. Yeah, you're going to go for this. Or this person's made up their mind to come towards you. Okay. Tell me about this devil card. Tell me about the devil. There we go. Yeah. So this person works a lot. Okay. So they're obsessed about having a new beginning. Uh, they're thinking a lot about you. Just watch out this person. You know, this the devil, like in this deck, I usually see it as someone who, especially with this energy, and my readings flow like this, right? They go like that. Uh, so this is somebody who's got that devil may care. They just don't care anymore. They just want to go for this. They want to have this new beginning. All right. So, but you're kind of being practical, like, oh, I don't know. I want to see if I see you in the future. So you're going to kind of take control of this. But I think eventually you are going to go for it. Okay. And I do feel like there will be phone calls, communication. Uh, but it's going to be up to you to take control and make this decision because you're trusting your intuition here, your gut. You know, you're going to look deep within yourself and do some thinking. See if you see this person in your future. You, Some of you could be holding on to somebody else too. You're looking into the future with this person, but there might be somebody with three of wands. You're generally holding on to that one wand, but looking into the future. And I see that as someone who's holding on to something from their past. So uh, you could have you know, a decision to make revolving this. If you want to hold on, uh, go for this person or hold on to the person from the past, okay, that you may be waiting for, uh, for some of you. So 
we have the Queen of Pentacles. There we go. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, so you're going to make a balanced decision. You're going to weigh the pros and the cons. Yeah, you got a choice between two here. There is a little bit of competition. You got people communicating with you, taking action. You might be a bit conflicted because there's like someone else I think you've been waiting for. Uh, you may have a few people. Maybe this person's, you know, you're like, mm, I don't know. All right, but I think you're going to obsess about this for a bit and take your time. You might end up, you know, you are a slower moving energy. So, yeah, you want to weigh the pros and the cons. You want something balanced. You don't want any burdens. So uh, I feel like you're going to be quite burdened by this decision. Okay, uh, I feel like you're going in two different directions. You've, you're not quite sure about this person. Yeah, but there's, look at that, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's a Cancer possibly uh, for some of you coming in, offering you this cup of love. And they're going to put, their, their emotions are in control here because this is a chariot uh, using all the power they have to move towards success. But this is keeping their emotions in check, okay? Keeping them balanced. So this person's doing that. And I feel like at, at some point here, their their emotions might be all over the place a little bit, but they'll they'll get it together. So... Um, that may be why you're weighing the pros and the cons, okay? A little bit, a little bit of conflict. Could be emotional conflict as well, but it's passionate, fiery. I usually see this as somebody coming in to take action. They're ready to fight for what they want. Uh, they could be a Scorpio. I see that Mars energy, fighting spirit, warrior spirit there uh, for some of you. Uh, and then we have this, yeah. So this person's coming in. They, you know, they see you as everything. All right, Taurus. I hope I don't keep saying Capricorn because it's Taurus. They could be a Capricorn. They could be a Taurus and they could be a Libra uh, as well. But this person, or you have Libra and Taurus in your chart possibly. This person's in love. They want you. They're offering you this cup. Uh, some of you, this is a reconciliation. Some of you, this person is awakened and ready for love. Okay, they see you as everything they want. They see you as just right. Uh, they're going to come in and uh, offer you uh, something very balanced here, I feel. They're going to try to reciprocate. So they're going to, they're a bit conflicted about what to communicate because they know they have to uh, talk to you and reach out to you. Whatever offer it is, it needs to be very balanced. It needs to be very careful. They go about it just right. Okay. So yeah, here we've got the Ten of Pentacles. So yeah, this is what you're looking for here. Uh, this person wants to come in and have something stable. It could be a reconciliation or this person's just ready. Uh, they're ready to reach out, to reciprocate. They're ready for a new beginning and they want this uh, stability here. But you want to make sure this is stable. Okay, so because you're going to be, yeah, so here you are. <laughs> wow. So yeah. Look at that. You're right here. You're, you're trusting your gut. You're looking into the future. Some of you are going to be, okay, don't just trust your tarot reader, all right? Trust your own instincts. That's what it's telling me to tell you. Uh, I'm just telling you some messages. Don't take it all as 100%. Trust your own self, your higher self to make this choice, okay? So, and it, this person could be a Pisces who is coming in as their higher self. They've gone possibly through some kind of spiritual awakening. They see you as the one. They want something solid. They're ready for commitment. Um, you're going to be making sure this person makes you feel safe and secure that they got, you know, you've got lots going on. You're taking care of yourself. You want to make sure they're the same way, that this is going to be stable uh, and a good place for you to be, right? So then you've got this page of pentacles. This is thinking about doing this. Is this the right thing for me? Do I see a future with this person? And it could be them as well, okay? But I feel like it's you, Taurus, okay? Tell me about this page. There we go, yeah. So you're going to take your time and think about this. You're going to be realistic and just kind of stay grounded, concentrate on your home and your money. Some of you are alone, obviously living alone by the looks and what I feel here. But I do feel like you're torn between two people. You have a couple people who are thinking about reaching out. One could be a Libra. One could be a Capricorn who's obsessed with you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you want to make sure you be careful what you wish for is what it's saying. You want to think about this. Be careful what you wish for. You want to make sure you're getting your wish granted that you have a future. Uh, and hold on to that. This is, again, fire energy. Holding on to that belief. All right. So it's being careful what you believe about this person. Don't uh, just trust your tarot reader to tell you that this is going to be perfect. You need to figure this out. So tell me about the Three of Wands. And we have Four of Pentacles. So yes, look at all the details. 
and pay attention, be grounded, be practical, uh, work through this process and make sure that everything you need is here. Make sure you've got common ground, that you have a lot of the right similarities. Feel like there's someone here that's coming in to offer you this cup. They're thinking about how to do it. They don't want to let go of you. So you do have someone that you're holding on to. Uh, you have someone coming in and you're going to be like, oh, should I take this offer? Should I? Is this right for me or should I wait for this other person? Because I feel like you may have someone that you're waiting for. You could be obsessed waiting for someone else to give you an offer. And then this other person comes in and you're like, oh, I like this person. But this is good about this person. You're going to be weighing those pros and cons. It's going to weigh you down. It's going to be a bit of a burden. But you will come out of this because you got this Cancer Pisces Scorpio. This person who sees you as everything they want. And this person's going to want to rush towards you very fast. Um very fast they're going to want to move forward because they want you in the worst way they want they're going to want commitment very quickly oy, 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 you guys all right let's grab another deck all these are all moving forward quick so this is somebody who's likely thinking like i was when you meet someone and start chatting online and you've yes likely a lot of you already met in the real world or they know of you or you've been in each other's space before out and about you know we all know what it's like, but it doesn't have to be. <laughs> One of these people you definitely do know, because I feel you're holding on to them, and you're trying to make, with everything you know about them, you're trying to see if you see them in your future. One of them you don't know, so, yeah. Or you don't know everything. What is this person's intentions? What is this person's intentions towards Capricorn, this... Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, King of Cups. What is this person's intentions? That card wants to come out. Page of Wands. Yeah, this person's focusing. Uh, they're going to communicate with you. I feel some Scorpio energy there. So yeah, this person may be holding on to you, wondering if there is a future with it, with you. They're kind of focused on that. They may not be as focused on you as they once were. Okay, um, so watch that. If you leave this person waiting too long, they may lose focus a little bit. So don't sit in this energy uh, and be stuck, okay? Uh, some of you, they may have, like I said, they could be a Capricorn or a Virgo or another, or another Taurus for that matter, okay, with water in their chart. So, yeah, watch this person. They are focused on you, though. They're focused on the passion. They find you very sexy and attractive, too. Uh, but this person's about emotions. They're emotionally available as well. So that's a good thing. So... Let's see, who is this person? Who is this justice card? Who is this person coming in? What are their intentions? I feel like that person is Earth for sure. Who is this person coming towards Taurus? This person, what are their intentions towards Taurus in the long term? Oh, that must be all this person. Okay, well, it might all be one person until we're down here, but... All right, tell me about this King of Cups. What is their intentions towards Capricorn in the long term? Ah, oh, King of Wands. So, yeah, they could be a Scorpio or you've got two people. Yeah, this person's pretty passionate, pretty charismatic. Uh, they are definitely thinking uh, very passionate thoughts. They're very much focused on that. They might be a little immature that way. Um, they might be just focused on you and, and trying to figure out how to communicate trying to keep their emotions in control but they want to take charge they might be a little controlling a little overbearing or they're trying to just you know balance everything out here they might be trying to do everything right but they're ready to take action okay and communicate they want to get this moving so they might be coming in to fight for this so tell me more about the king of wands who is this person this king of wands it's just an energy and it's been around the last few weeks a lot um yeah here we go knight of wands yeah so this person you want to watch this person doesn't come rushing in and out okay so there you go you want to make sure right but they are coming in to fight they're ready to get moving they want to move quickly they are emotionally available though or you've got two people like i said i feel like you got two it feels like two people's energy so just trying to figure out where the heck to start and stop them because they start to mesh let's just move this out of the way 
let's try that again. Tell me about the King of Cups. What is this person's intentions towards Taurus? What are their intentions towards Taurus? What is this person's intentions towards Taurus? King of Cups intentions. They find you sexy and attractive. Um, yeah, they're making a decision. So this person's weighing the pros and the cons. This person could be a juggler. They might want to juggle. They could be the one juggling. And maybe that's what you're taking your time about because you might know that, like I said, you might know them. Could be they're trying to reconcile. They're weighing the pros and the cons. Uh, very much focused. They might be a, focused on passion, focused on what you look like. Um, doesn't have to be. But again, you're going to be careful anyway. I can see that. You're going to look at this. My readings will almost always come up that way because I, I really push that to help people to slow down and look at it, make sure it's safe and secure before you rush in. Uh, because we all know, right? I read the comments. I know. <laughs> I read them. So I take that energy, right? So... Yeah, so we have the horn god. This person's obsessed with you. Yeah, they're just obsessed. They just really, really like you a lot. They, of course, you know, if you're a female and they're a male, they're coming across like this. They're going to come in and try to control this and get this going. And they can't stop thinking about you. They could be a little bit of a drinker. Be careful, some of you. This could be two different people too. Yeah, but there is love. They're obsessed about this new beginning in love and they may be a drinker. That's funny how that was sitting right there on top. I looked down and there it was. Yeah, they might drink too much. So watch that they get that under control. Caution. All right, let's see what the outcome is. Yeah, it's all looking pretty good. Just watch them. They might be, but they could be obsessed about passion and they might drink a lot, but they are obsessed. They are emotionally available. They do want a new beginning. All right, yeah, so they are going to reach out with the Six of Pentacles and reciprocate to you. So just watch they don't, you know, make sure they do. Make sure they're generous um, with you, that they don't, uh, um, you know, it's not equal give and take. Uh, it, it's telling me don't give this person anything. Don't be generous to them until they uh, do the right thing. Make sure this is stable. Um, you may have some of you may have gone through a spiritual awakening or you've woke up and uh, you're clued into this because of tarot reading all right to make sure it's safe make sure it's practical and uh, it's where you want to be so let's grab some outcome what is the outcome of this situation for Taurus Taurus what is the outcome of this situation this new love energy some of you it could be somebody new too. just watch all right that they're this person's healthy and they don't drink too much and it doesn't mean they do it's just it, when you see the devil yeah milk and honey so there is milk and honey at the end of this rainbow it, it's I feel like it's pretty good this person's okay uh, they might like to have some drinks but I think they're more obsessed about what you look like and that you're sexy and attractive and they just want to get that way with you very quickly a little bit of chaos and conflict yeah look at that so yeah, a little bit, just be careful this person doesn't create conflict or chaos in your life. Keep yourself safe, trust your gut. Yeah, it's all good though, serendipity. You have good luck on your side, you got the four-leaf clover, okay? You've got the four-leaf clover, so it's going to be okay. I, I kind of feel that this person's going to take action, because I was just saying how they want to come towards you in passion, and then this come out, because this is somebody who's very flirty, uh, very much coming in. They're just going for it, right? They're going to communicate that way with you. And um, I see the fool here. <laughs> you know, it's telling you to go, you know, be careful. If this is somebody that's coming back around, all right, don't go too fast. Don't take this risk. We'll let this evolve naturally. See what happens. Yeah, message in a bottle. So you are going to get some communication. It's going to be emotional. They may communicate emotionally with you at first. Watch they don't use that to control you, to push things forward too quick. Okay? Look out for yourself. Trust your gut. And uh, queen, the Queen of Pentacles, she's got that beacon. She knows, right? Because she's able to look far into the future to see if this is the right person. If this is, be careful what you wish for. So take some time to think. But I don't know, it feels pretty positive for the most part. But for some reason, you're a bit guarded. And mostly because I think they want to move too fast. Uh, it's like you're going to meet them, may communicate with you online. And uh, they're going to want to come and see you very quickly. As soon as you uh, have this new beginning and they, make connect, they connect with you via the Internet, they're probably going to want to um, 
rush to come and see you very quickly and get this started, okay? Um, but there is this obsession here with a, being solid, grounded, and practical, and that could be you. You want to make sure it's a solid offer, so you could be obsessing about that. One more card for the outcome for Taurus. Yeah, so look at everything from every angle, okay, the hanged man. Just hang there for a bit and take a look at things from every direction, um, all right? Uh, watch your perspective, okay? I also feel like this person may be coming back in. You may have somebody else. This I feel like there's two people. I feel like you got like a Scorpio and then maybe a uh, Cancer or Pisces as well, maybe with Earth in their chart. I just feel that, okay? And maybe an Air with Aries or something, but uh, there's this Pisces energy, like, Look at things from every angle first. Uh, watch your perspective, but somebody else could be coming in with a different perspective, or maybe this is how they came to you the first time, and you may have um, not went for it, all right? And if they come back in, they may come back towards you in a different way. So you might have to um, sit back and, and uh, wait and see if this person comes back in a different with a different approach. Yeah, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, there they are, yeah. They got Earth in their chart. You want to make sure. So this person is going to work this out. They're going to take the time to work through the details. They have a plan to come back around uh, with a different approach. So if they came towards you this way the first time and you took a risk and uh, things ended or it didn't evolve the way you want and you ended up taking off or it went you went too quickly, you're not going to do it this time because now you're obsessed about this person offering you something stable or they are they could be a capricorn all right taurus i wish you guys the best <laughs> hope this works out uh, i feel like it's positive it feels positive i feel a good vibe uh, some of you it's two people uh, coming in with similar energies so just look out for yourself if you look out for you you'll be just fine okay take care bye for now